Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Well today we are going to take apart a Blu-ray disc player. Now I did plug this in power button did come on the tray did extract but as you can see right here $14.99 so they got this from the Goodwill and they paid $14.99 for it you know and who knows why somebody would spend $14.99 and leave something in their unit. So, and I do not have a way of testing the picture quality of these. So, with that said and done, these right here, for the, those of you who are new, these are dog and cat clippers. And as you can see, they work perfect on wire. The only thing that I do not like, well, besides the spring keeps falling out, is this little button. I keep wanting to go and get some super glue and put it there. But when the spring is there, it's good to lock because the spring stays in place so I really don't know what I'm going to do with those yet so but it's time to get busy on seeing what's inside this check this with a magnet but I'm pretty sure it's not sorry about the wind I'm trying to sit against against the wall Thank <laughs> you. 
back here. That I did not see. But this is the actual first time that I've, you know, got a chance to just sit down and take all this stuff apart. Now, on this, you want the crystal and that black piece right there. That, that, that. And then you see these silver and gray. All of them. You want to get those too. And then, unfortunately, I don't have a pair of pliers to Well, maybe I can do it with a screwdriver that looks like to be aluminum. When it is, it worked. So, that's a piece of aluminum. So now on to the other side. This is a gold chip because of the gold on the corner. You want to take that, 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 and then all these little pieces. You know, but that's if you want to maximize your profit. But if you don't, then you don't. It's all to you, but I don't like giving money away, you know, so. And then this. Oh. That little plastic piece right there. I'm just going to keep that on. And then you got copper. And another chip. Uh, let's see, another chip. Another chip. More copper. But... Now you see this gold right here? That's all gold plated. That's underneath. Let's see if I can... Okay, that's a piece of aluminum. And you already have it out. Might as well put it. That wire I do not scrap. So, but all this gold right here. That's all gold plating. Take all these chips off and then throw it into your gold. Gold recovery bucket. That or you can just, this is trash. This is wire that I will strip. That's what I'm looking for. 
these off because I have to these are brass and copper I want to save those as much as I can I'll put these into switches but yeah that's what you get out of a DVD player don't know why they're so damn expensive you know brand new they're like what, 50 60 bucks that's 50 60 bucks so and that will go into the metal this is trash so we got a trash pile here trash and aluminum and then we got some boards and that board so that's oh and this which will be a different video yeah let's just do it now I'm pretty sure you guys are anxious to see what's inside One thing that I did notice is most of these are usually made out of metal. For some reason, they wanted to be cheap and they made it out of plastic. Why? So it breaks. So you have to go and buy yourself a new one. Now, there is... That's plastic. That's trash. Well, actually, let's move all the trash over to this side. There. That's trash. Well, that's, I should have stick with my original plan. Because a lot of this takes really, really small screwdrivers, which I do not have on me. So, a lot of these plastic wheels you can actually save, and people, um, people who uh, do crafts, and some people who are, you know, build stuff, they look for stuff like that. So... But you might be able to sell something like that. There's aluminum. Uh, but yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have any small screws, screwdrivers with me. So, But that gives you a look at it. Sometimes you can actually sell these. But like I said, without testing it, you know... Basically, all you can do is put it up for parts and repair. But, I'll usually get a whole bunch of these. And put them in one large lot, like 10 or 20 of them. Because these little things are expensive. And sometimes, you'd be surprised on how high that stuff will go for on eBay. You know, especially if you put it as parts and repair. You know this way they know that there's a chance that it might not work and this just goes into wire but some of these some okay yep this one right here that right there that's gold yeah that's gold so I'll usually come and cut that off with a pair of scissors and the rest of it will go in wire so, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the 
bell icon this way you're notified every time I upload a video uh, my subscribers have been going up and down as of late so I haven't quite hit the 200 subscriber mark yet uh, I was at 197 and then I came down to 194 you last night but today I was at 195 so they keep going up and down uh, but I, I do realize that a lot of people don't like my videos that are about my life uh, and those are the people that are leaving you know they're not sticking around and waiting for the how-to videos or the videos to uh, for clean outs they just you know but hey it is what it is you know I can't control everybody if I could I'd have a million subscribers right now and not needing to worry about a job <laughs> so yeah so yeah so that's the end of that video so as I always say, scrap it, scrap it right, make that money. Peace. Later, Gators.